Well, that wraps up today's inaugural ceremony. We are uh, seeing the recessional begin here as people begin to exit. Mike, uh, you know, it was a day of celebration. You know, it was a familiar theme, Ted, when you think about it. And I think every candidate or office holder said it, how important family was. They all said about moving the state forward, but they also got emotional, especially uh, Attorney General Peter Nerona when talking about his family. And it's a big day for the governor, too. Yeah, it is. You know, and I, I cover politics day to day. These are all human beings. And I know many of them say to me off the air about the toll it takes on their family. Family. And also a big year for Governor McKee because he's going to be a grandfather for the first time this year. And uh, uh, that's also part of the excitement for him of 2023. So we're going to get more meat on the bones, I think, about his plans for the new year when the state of the state happens later this month. But he's given us a big picture look at his agenda today, Mike. Yeah, one of the things that he talked about is making sure Rhode Islanders had a good job, enough money to put food on the table, so to speak. That was his number one priority. Yeah, I'd say so, Mike. And I think that's probably something most people at home will agree with. So we'll see how he... Uh, he, he uh, you know, he, he executes on that. So we'll send it back to you in the studio.